Hi friends. So these are the materials that you're going to need for today's experiment. You are going to need four candy canes. You're going to need four cups and four liquids to test. I'm testing water, vinegar, soda, and oil. I also added post-it notes. So on the post-it note, I thought maybe we should try regular water and hot water, vinegar, soda, and oil. So pause the camera while you set that up. Okay, so now I have filled about half um, with oil, my soda, my vinegar, my water, and my cold water. So this is the hot water. You can actually see the cup has made steam and I spilled. <laughs> and one candy cane broke. So it's okay if the tops break off. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a timer and put the candy canes in. So my daughter Tia and I are going to put the candy canes in and we're going to also push start. So if you have some helpers, it would be great. All right, go. What, this one? Okay, now we have to look for when we see them melting. Ooh, I see some red in this one at 12 seconds. So I have my timer going. Um, I don't know, any more changes? Is there any change in the vinegar? I think there's a little. Yep, so at 28 seconds, the vinegar made a change. Oop, I see a change in this one. 39 seconds. It's hard to tell. Do you see any red in those? Hmm. Not seeing any change in those. A lot of bubbling going on with the soda, though. Kind of see a red, yeah. There's a little bit of red on the soda. See at the bottom there? So we're at one minute and 25 seconds. Oops, my finger's in there. So... The oil. Hmm. I'm not seeing any reaction going on. All of these are called solutions. We have solution of an oil, solution of the soda. Ooh, now you can see a little more of the red. Yeah. Here's the vinegar. Kind of a pinky color all over. There's no more red at the bottom. There is the hot water. Um, Tia, can you pull the candy cane out? Notice <laughs> all the red is completely off of that. Okay, put it back in. Oh, and here's the cold water. That's got that off too a lot. Okay. So let's go back to oil. Oh, it's getting to be a ugly color of Mountain Dew. <laughs> I still do not see any changes in the oil. And we are at 2 minutes and 43 seconds right now. So now we need to decide why. Why did these things happen? So let's pull this one out. I have to wash my countertop. There's the one with water. There's hot water. Vinegar. You can kind of see a change where the vinegar met the candy cane. There's, ooh, the soda. I think the soda was more than the vinegar. And now we're going to look at the oil. Hmm. I don't see a single change. So, which one changed the most? 
the hot water. Why did the hot water change the most? Where do we put candy canes? Yeah, we can put them on the tree, but where are they supposed to go? In our mouths, right? What's in our mouth? Spit, right? Saliva. Saliva and spit, that's our solution. And we are warm, aren't we? So when we put it in our mouth, it melts. So the heat from our mouth and the water, because plain water also melted it, helps melt the candy canes. So the soda and the vinegar, they melted. They weren't hot. They still melted because of what they're made from. I bet you the bubbles in the soda helped to do that. But why didn't it melt in the oil? It's still a liquid. <laughs> Tia says oil isn't good for you. Either is candy canes. <laughs> Yeah, so the oil is slimy. I bet it was just like sliding right off. It's all slimy, right? It's not pulling the candy off of it, just sitting around it. So if you try it, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And are you gonna choose the same solutions or are you gonna choose a different solution? Either way is fine, okay? Can't wait to see it.